Call to order the special city commission meeting for Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. Our order of business today is the one item we have on our agenda and that is selection of one of our possible applicants for city administrator. Are there any questions on the order of business? Not I'd like to hear a motion on the order of business. We have a motion to approve by Commissioner Sobola. Second. A second by Commissioner Frederick. Any further questions, comments? All in favor of the order of business as stated, state aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. First item up. And only item is our selection of the city administrator. We went through the process a little more than a week ago, or two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago. Uh, we had our four candidates in. We had three separate boards, our community board, um, made up of various degrees of, uh, of community members. We had our executive team, and then we had our commission. And I think we were all went forward with the idea of, of selecting the best candidate with the idea in mind that we've had many discussions about is finding somebody that will really bring leadership to this position and not have to be um, I'm not going to say micromanaged but not have to be attended to on a regular basis someone that will bring initiative and leadership to that role. And hopefully all the commissioners, you had an opportunity to visit with the different committees and some of the Skype members, if possible. I know I uh, visited with everyone and uh, I, I kind of did my own little matrix, um, asked everyone, uh, you know, who they felt was, would be best in their eyes and who would be a second pick. I always said to pick two in case negotiations would fail with the first person. Uh, but that is something for us to determine as commissioners that if we're not happy with the top pick and they cannot come to some sort of agreement with us, do we even want to go to pick two? So I guess from from my standpoint, there was, when you're looking at the leadership, somebody that has leadership abilities can come in. There was clearly one candidate that I would say that I felt brought all those qualities to the, to the table. But I would like to hear from the commission too what you've gathered from your, your, uh, your personal uh, notes and from the community members. So, whomever would like to, we can start with somebody that's online or we can start here in the chambers. Yeah, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Oderman. So, uh, I, I think, you know, so that we don't have to get into uh, the weeds and, and talk about, I, I think it's, it's most productive if we keep this conversation as positive as possible. And, and so I think the discussion that we should have right now is what each of the individual city commissioners was looking for from the candidate. Um, if there were certain things that they were specifically looking for, if there were certain individuals that stood out as a result of those expectations or what, what we were looking for from the candidate, I guess, I, to me, that, that, that'll, that'll just allow us to speak more about positive aspects of the candidates that we possibly like, as opposed to getting into the weeds and, and, and getting negative. But does anybody have any issues with that? I, I think that's probably the most positive way to go about this conversation. And I'm, I'm fine with that. So I, I guess what I was looking for um, when it came to the city administrator, I think we have a great executive team in terms of but I think operationally, Linda, Chief Dockinger, uh, uh, Gary, I mean, across the board, the executive team, we've got great operational day-to-day -day development. And what 
Okay, thank you. Uh, any additional comments, Mr. Oderman? Uh, that, that would be all I have. Okay. Ms. Walla? I guess my... <clears throat> sorry, my ears are going to have to shut up. Um, I would have been someone who could work as a leader, not overtake and, and you know, but more of a leader and work with those and, and use those Thank you, Ms. Walla. So what? Oh, sorry, my microphone has a lot of feedback. But um, so the goals that I was really looking for was communication skills, being able to bring groups together. So us as a commit, you know, work with us as a commission, work with bridging a gap between the commission and the executives, making sure that the city is, has a bridge between our state leaders and just really that person that can tie everyone together and help us all move forward on that same vision. And so then that would also, some of that, that would have that visioning ability was important in my book. And I would agree with Nikki and John on that I really saw those characteristics in Brian. I saw some of those characteristics in our other candidates, but I did feel that I saw all of those in Brian as a candidate. Okay. Well, thank you, Ms. Mrs. Sobluck. Mr. Frederick. Well, my, my th three things I was looking for were leadership, ex some experience, and some of that one that wants to be here. So I don't want to do this again in my next term. Pick another candidate. So I thought Brian checked most of the boxes as far as wanting to be here. I think him coming out and spending time here for a week, probably made me feel a little more of a comfort level. Um, I do have some concerns, but of, he's, he's, he's quite a candidate, in my opinion. You know, if we're going to be able to keep him in Dickinson, but he would—he was my number one guy. Um, my number two guy was Bill McCabe, just because 21 years experience. I think he knows how to lead. When you read some of his comments from his. Um, people he's worked for and I know he wants to be here so other than that the other candidates I just felt lacked the experience so well thank you mr. Frederick coming into this I, I was really leaning hard on the leadership and somebody to demonstrate that leadership and initiative I thought uh, Mr. Winningham, uh, coming out here for a week, truly 
showed that he wanted to find out about us, and he did his research. Um, I, I have no doubt looking at his resume, he knows how to lead. Um, coming from the tribe to us is going to be a little bit different, but he also brings a different perspective. He brings that federal experience that can be very vital to a lot of the things, and he might have the ability to look at things that we've never looked at before on the federal level and help the city. Um, you know, my, my second pick, I could uh, I could have I could have uh, thrown a couple in there. Uh, I, I think all the gentlemen that interviewed showed uh, distinctive qualities and different types of leadership, but without a doubt, in the, uh, right now in my mind, I think that Brian is is with the way I would be leaning. And right now, I, I mean, hearing from all all all, all commissioners here. I, uh, I think we're pretty clear cut between the community leaders, the executive team, and even the few members that did show up at the meet and greet, which was somewhat disappointing, but the few people that did show up talking with them, I, I think they all have this, this you know, idea from Brian that he is rare, raring to go when he's gonna come in. I think the challenge for us is, is um, to get that kind of talent it, it, the challenge upon us is to make this a place he wants to stay, you know. Um, and uh, working with him, bring him along, and, and uh, bring him into the community. I have no doubt that he can he can jump in, jump right in with. Uh, now you have to show us your dog. <laughs> That's just the rules. That's just the rules on all these meetings. Now the dog has to he has to be shown. Yeah. <laughs> You, you, Nikki, you have, to, you, you have to put your cat on your lap, so, you know, okay. yeah. So now they have to be on your lap or something, you know, so that's the way it works in these meetings. Uh, either show us your books or show us your pets, one of the two. Um, uh, so, um, the, the, from what I hear from the commission is, is that we have a candidate in mind Miss, Mrs. Winko, do we need a formal uh, motion to to uh, to nominate somebody as our pick, or do we need to to bring that out after to bring that at at a later date? At this time, I believe that uh, I'm hearing a consensus among the commission members. Um, so obviously uh, what will happen after this is uh, the decision to uh, move forward and, and continue uh, contractual negotiations uh, with uh, Mr. Uh, Winningham. Uh, at this time, um, I guess it would make sense uh, practically uh, for the commission to make a motion uh, that you are in agreement uh, to proceed with additional contract negotiations uh, with the candidate that you've selected. I would look for a motion. So we have a motion by Mr. Oderman to, to nominate Mr. Winningham as our selection under the conditions that the contractually there is an agreement and the background checks are, background checks are um, completed and he is, he is approved through the background checks. And, and to add to that, Mr. President, Commissioners, and, and Ms. Nomina can speak to this process as the HR coordinator. Um, I believe an offer will be made. Uh, that will be a conditional offer. Uh, and then, of course, the necessary checks will be run, uh, at which time they will have to be approved uh, by all of you. And then, obviously, a final offer of employment would be made uh, upon um, all of those um, checks to your satisfaction. Do I have a motion on the table from Mr. Oderman? I'll second that motion. We have a second by Commissioner Sobolak. Any further discussion? No further discussion, we'll go ahead and vote. Mr. Oderman? Aye. Mr. Sobolak? Aye. Mr. Frederick? Aye. Ms. Walla? 
Chair votes aye. Motion carries. And now would look for a motion to move to executive session to discuss contract uh, dis discuss the contract that we will offer Mr. Winningham. Executive session pursuant to North Dakota Century Code 44-04-19.1, paragraph 9, and 44-04-19.2. So moved. We have a motion to move to executive. Second. With a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll go ahead and vote. All in favor of moving to executive, state aye. 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 Against, same sign. Motion carries. We will be moving to executive. We'll move into regular session and out of executive. Upon uh, discussions, I have been given guidance and uh, the process that I uh, to enter into negotiations with our candidate, Mr. Winningham, and uh, give him a uh, conditional offer of employment as our city administrator for the uh, city of Dickinson. So we will proceed uh, to begin negotiations with Brian. Anything uh, else that I need to cover, Mrs. Winko? Okay. And that is the last, that's the only item that was on the agenda, so I'd look for a motion to adjourn. So moved. We are adjourned. <laughs>